The following video has been rated PG-13 for, eh, it's pretty good, if you're 13. You know, I don't get out to do these explorings very often anymore. There's this whole pandemic thing that you've probably heard of, but today's a special occasion. It's, it's a beautiful occasion, and it's in Daytona Beach. You see, today we're not just doing a normal exploring. No, 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 my friends. Today, we're visiting a special grand opening of the Beaver. It's the grand opening of Bucky's Daytona, the first Bucky's in my area, which means it's time to do just a little splore. Now, as I record this, it is late March in uh, Daytona, and it should be a little bit warmer. It's kind of cold today. It's probably in the upper 50s, lower 60s. But you wouldn't know anything was off by looking around. Let me give you a little bit of a lay of the land. It's got a large parking lot. There's hundreds of spaces, but look at this. 104 gas pumps here. Out in front of this very, 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 very large convenience store. Where you were greeted by the man, or the, the beaver himself, Bucky, who's obviously uh, taking care to be safe during this unprecedented time and right behind him you could buy smokers and grills and fire pits actually pretty decently priced now I'm a little bit of a barbecue snob and I can tell you that these are heavy-duty smokers these are old country barbecue pits uh, offset smokers as you can see over there these things are heavy cast iron right here Wow they're still hiring. You can kind of see what they pay here. One of the big things about Bucky's is they do pay a, a pretty good wage to their starting employees. And uh, as I understand, they've brought about 200 jobs just to begin with here to the Daytona area. It looks like even the news is getting in on this. And just how over the top is Bucky's? Well, when was the last time you saw anybody who needed this much ice? And there's a second line of them just as big as this one way at the other side of this. That is the second biggest beaver I've seen today. I gotta be careful. Uh, I'll try to keep the beaver jokes to a minimum today. Looks like you could even get your smoking wood. We got pecan, post oak, mesquite. Looks like possibly some more news outlets. Well, the meat wagon has just shown up, and as uh, Greg pointed out, I, it's it's to be careful and, and be ready for when people have the the Bucky's heart palpitation. I'm so excited about Bucky's adventures by George, by the way. Hey, everybody. And uh, Greg's game room joining us today as we do a little, uh, you know, exploring. A little exploring. Oh, exploring. Wow, you can you can buy fryers out here too. You got smokers. You got fryers. You got you got everything. Tabletop grills, folding camp chairs, directors' chairs, rocking chairs, tents, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. It smells vaguely of pizza right now, which I don't really understand because I think they've got like brisket. But I guess we'll find out as we walk through here. The big reveal. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you one very, 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 very large gas station. Got your beaver nuggets. You can't leave without beaver nuggets, of course. Beaver nuggets are kind of hard to explain. People ask why they're such a big deal. It's, it's really hard to put a, a real word to it. They're kind of like caramel corn, but not. If that makes, it doesn't, does it? No. We got uh, beaver buddies, which I believe are animal crackers. So these are interesting, sizzling saltines. So I guess these are like saltines that are covered with like a Cajun spice almost. One of their famous large cinnamon rolls. A fudge sampler and I'm seeing these all over the place at first I thought they were just putting out like raw hamburger meat but I guess this is actually a peanut patty I'm not sure why it's red but it's a peanut patty this is kind of cool this is the reed nutcracker looks like a medieval torture device of some sort but I don't have any nuts to crack as we speak but uh, I'm realizing that pretty much everything in here lends itself to double entendres. 
Now this is kind of interesting. Uh, this is the wall of chocolate and yogurt covered pretzels. You get uh, regular yogurt, raspberry, blueberry, strawberry, cinnamon, uh, salted caramel, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, uh, peanut butter, and then popcorn, I suppose, which kind of takes you out of the theme, but still delicious, no doubt, but not the same. Looks like a wall of old-fashioned candy, and your saltwater taffy, of course, can't have a can't have a tourist attraction without saltwater taffy and malt balls. You got your pickling section. Every pickled item you could think of, other than pickles themselves, you got. Uh, Pickled quail's eggs right here. Wait, that's probably where the pi regular pickles go, right? Now. Regular pickles are gone. Probably. I don't know. They could. They could be. We got Brussels sprouts, uh, eggs. There's a whole bunch of people screaming down there. I'm not really sure what's going on. I don't know if I should go over there because something cool is happening, or if somebody fell down and got hurt. This is the wall of hot sauce. This is kind of right up my alley. Carolina Reaper sauce. Ooh, I might have to do that. Ooh, taking it up another notch, scorpion pepper. And of course, we got to get over here to the barbecue sauce and the barbecue rubs. By the way, it's not the sauce that makes the barbecue, it's the smoke and the rub. This is like the, this is like the foreign dream of barbecue uh, racks. Which kind are you going to buy me? Cheapest one. Let me throw a question at you. They've got the uh, Bucky's original barbecue sauce that you see here. But that is the only flavor of Bucky's barbecue sauce that I see, so you only have the one flavor. Can it truly be the original flavor? Stumbled onto my first major purchase of the day. It is a Bucky's trucker hat. So very hard to find a good trucker hat. Bucky's is pretty well known for their jerky, and this is the wall of jerky, but this this really is just scratching the surface. And while Greg and I were talking that they don't have Bucky's wine or beer, you can wrap your Bucky's uh, koozies on your beer. And there you go, Greg. That's how you make your, your Bucky's alcohol is you throw a skin on it. Oh. Okay. The Bucky skin. So there's no no issues with uh, licensing or laws or anything like that. You just cover it up, just put a Bucky sticker on it, and now you got your own. Yep, you did through a hole in a sheet, and you're fine. Okay, that works. Oh, wow, it is the Wall O Gummies. Let's see what kind of gummies that gummy worms. Belts, sour, bears, beans. I give you the Bucky's coffee bar. It's actually a pretty large amount of coffee right here. You got your iced varieties, your hot varieties, your creamers, your sweeteners. But gosh darn it, I'm sweet enough already. They call this the deli, but it's really more of a barbecue, although I do see things like, you know, egg biscuits, which I guess aren't really barbecue, but still, brisket. Right? And right across from there is the home goods section where you can buy like a, a marble slab, and you can buy some uh, cookbooks, you can buy some cast iron cookware. Crazy as this may sound, I might get myself a seasoned cast iron skillet today. I'm told that everything tastes better when it's seared with a cast iron skillet. We're gonna give that a shot, I suppose. There's like a pirate over here. I'm not sure what the pirate's all about. But hey, there's a giant beaver walking around, so, you know. When in Rome. And I'm particularly excited, right over here, it's a fudgery. Greg, Greg. Yeah. Do you know what this is? Fudge? It's a fudgery. Oh. Tiger butter. I wonder if that's anything like tiger blood, which is a lot like tiger blood, which is pure sheen. Pure Charlie Sheen. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the showcase of jerky. Turkey jerky, garlic jerky, hot jerky, mild jerky, teriyaki jerky. It's more jerky than you can shake a stick at. I see the bakery over there. There's something I gotta check over there, because I've heard, I've heard something pretty special is in this case. These cinnamon rolls are huge and famous, just like me. Here's a little hot rod. It's, it's letting you know that this is where you find clean restrooms and world-famous jerky. All right, this gentleman right here has, has combined a few things. We have, we have a, a pop gun, we have a, a Davy Crockett hat, and I think your, your hoodie looks like an, actually a Dixie cup uh, pattern. Wow. You, you beat the beaver today, sir. All right, well, it's uh, beaver underpants. Beaver bucket hats. Beaver boogie boards, beaver balls, 
Beaver booty shorts. Beaver BVDs. Beaver booze. Beaver beverages. Beaver bedtime. Beaver bags. It's the gosh darn beaver blast. Even more barbecue stuff. I can definitely tell that I'm going to be spending some time here over the coming months. I've seen a lot of these old rubber band shooter guns in my life, but I don't think I've ever seen a Tommy gun version of it before. I think I know what I'm bringing home for the kids. All right, just found, just, just found, this, there's, there is no good answer for this product. Oh, yes. All, all right, Greg seems to have figured it out. What is this? It, it's That's, a ball washer. No, no, no. A paw. It's a paw it's washer. Okay. Yeah, tell my dog that. He, no. Oh, okay. I'm slightly less horrified. Thank you. There we go. Oh, okay. Oh, see, Using the that. power of reading. I knew I should have stayed in school. <laughs> I give you the umbrella in a bottle. For some reason. Looks like we got like a beach shop over here. Lots of sparkly and light colors and things that I'm not going to buy. But I do see a hammock shop. It's a little bit more to my speed. Uh, yes, I've been looking for a flotation spatula. Let me give you a proper scope for just how large the store is. right where we started. And there he is, the man of the hour, Gary. Also, Adam the Woo? So this is like your 85th Bucky's that you frequented. I was told, I was told this is like the biggest of them. Can you, can you confirm this? I don't know. That I don't know. I think it's bigger than the one in St. Augustine. Yeah, this is way big. This is huge. You're right. This might be the biggest one. This I've heard is... that rumor, but I cannot confirm. All right, so here's the haul for today. We've got some jerky, some beaver nuggets, a, a beaver, Bucky the Beaver puppet, a hat, and a boogie board for the kids. All right, it looks like, pirate time, looks like the governor is going to be here momentarily, and we're going to uh, properly do a ribbon cutting uh, in the 11 o'clock hour right over here. Very important guy right there. It's the keeper of the scissors. Patients, we are just moments away from a special guest who will be coming with the owner of Bucky's. So be patient with us for just a little bit longer. I'm going to ask for a little bit of help from everybody, though. That's why I'm here to make sure you're the governor. Stay in your eyes on the front. I believe this would be no, 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 no. this would be Governor DeSantis coming in. Or not. I mean, maybe maybe it's not. So Natalie is, is joining us from the, uh, the Southern California region right now. Uh, you, you've you got uh, giant, mouse, giant mice and boy wizards and shampoo and all that stuff too. Have you ever seen anything quite like this before? And what is the craziest thing that you've seen in here today? I think, oh gosh, everything has been so overwhelming. I'm not even sure yet. <laughs> All right, Adam, craziest piece of Bucky's merchandise you've seen so far. It took me, yeah, because I didn't have my phone. There's a full so body suit. It took me a while to finally get my like, there is. full body suit. It's a onesie yeah, with the cap like this. Mm -hmm. It's the Bucky headwear. Uh, you wear the Bucky's facial covering, you will be Bucky. You can become Bucky. And I saw there's an adult version of it, too. We know the code. I think it might only be in there. Oh, there we go. And there's the third Ewing brother. Worth the wait with our governor joining us for today's ribbon cutting. I'd like to recognize their 
uh, presence here and thank them for all of their efforts in bringing the, the facility here as well. Our business statement is to exceed your expectations and so uh, we're excited about being here. Um, he's right, the um, St. Augustine has, has exceeded our expectations. We hope we've exceeded uh, theirs. Bucky, of course, dealing with that glaucoma problem. All right, wrapping things up. Ribbon cutting is done. Bucky's is officially open. Governor is currently being swamped by an eight and a half foot tall Marilyn Monroe and two pirates. So, you know. You got that going for you. I think it's time to put a fork in this one. Okay, it's getting way too busy in here, so we're gonna go ahead and call it a day. Uh, oh, we're doing from a video? Daytona I can't Beach. Hear you. What's from, that? From, from Daytona Beach, where we have these masks and these coffees. And howdy, howdy. Adam Louie. We say in Texas. We say that in Florida now. Howdy. Natalie. Adventures by George. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time when we do just a little howdy.